It's available October 26th. It's a great, great set of products out there and with a great array. Check it out. Now, don't worry about it. Now, uh, you guys want to talk about another product? Yeah. Yeah, I do too. Sometimes I just walk off and don't, but this time I will, I promise. Let's just sit and think for a minute. <clears throat> what if you've wanted a surface, but you wanted a laptop surface? Something with a bigger screen, something with the perfect typing experience of a laptop. And we've been thinking about this for years. What do we do? What if we could do for laptops what we did for tablets? What if we could take all that energy, all that, all that hard work, all that will, all that learning and put it in a laptop? That's what we did. That's what I'm about to show you. We made the ultimate laptop. We made Surface Book. This is Surface Book. This is the ultimate laptop. It's the first laptop ever built by Microsoft, and it redefines everything. It redefines everything of what you expect in a laptop. Start with the screen. 13 and a half inch diagonal straight across. It delivers six million pixels to your eye, six million. There is nothing close to it, nothing. 267 DPI and the depth of this screen is remarkable. I've been using it, it just blows me away. It has pixel sense, and exactly what we talked about before, it is so much more than just pixels. It brings that pen, that touch experience, David, if you're here, you want to write a symphony, my friend, write it on this. It will blow you away what this product can do. We pushed the tech to the thinnest Gorilla Glass possible, same as Pro 4. You look at a photo on this, it'll feel real. You watch a video on it, it will immerse you like nothing has immersed you before. But it can't just be about the screen on a product like this, it has to be about the typing experience. It is one of the most important things in delivering a great laptop. It is one of the things that those of you using laptops on your lap right now need most. I mean, outside of lapability, which you've all made fun of me for, but typing. The typing experience on this product is perfect. The make break is unbelievable. The sound. and it's quiet, but it feels so powerful. It's 1.6 millimeters of travel. We've been making keyboard switches for 25 years at Microsoft. 15 years ago, we brought you the ergonomic keyboard. We know what comfort is. We brought it all to the table. My favorite thing is the dish and the keys, just slide your fingers in, it feels unreal. The trackpad optimized by the Windows 10 engineering team to bring you precision, perfect tracking. It is made of glass. When you put your finger on it, it glides. It feels so lovely. It has five points of touch on it. It brings every Windows 10 feature to life in a huge way. 
Now outside of typing and a beautiful screen, what do you expect from a laptop? Phenomenal performance. That's what you should expect. But this is a little bit different than Surface Pro 4. We pushed it further. We wanted to bring you that ultimate performance. This is for the gamer who plays League of Legends. This is for the architect who's building a building right now or designing a bridge and needs to compile and press the system. It's for the scientist right now who's thinking about the cure to cancer who needs to push the machine as far as they can. It's for that coder using the latest Visual Studio where they can compile using the GPU and CPU at the same time and not lose a minute. It's got the latest generation of Intel Core processors in it. They are phenomenal. We push these things. We work with Intel in and out. More important than that, we've tuned this thing to perfect graphics performance. Let me explain how. We have the best engineers on the planet that understand a GPU for you to use. Our Xbox team is unreal in what they can do with a GPU. We have the best engineers that understand portability and performance in one package and Surface. Do you know what happens when you put those two things together? You end up with Surface Book. <laughs> ounce for ounce, pound for pound. This is the fastest 13 inch laptop ever made anywhere on any planet, this product. And with all that power, we give you a full 12 hours of battery life to use this product for, 12 hours. Let me tell you what 12 hours means to me. Use it for a week, I don't have to charge it. Because when I close it, I'm saving every bit of battery life with no drain. It's phenomenal work by the surface engineers. When you open it, you're burning up to 12 hours. You can get to 12 hours, this is huge. You know what that means for you? Like those three guys? It means you don't have to sit where you plug in your cord next time means you can get a Surface Book and sit up here and you have to worry about the power because you get full power. It's what you need. It's all that performance. But it's portable. Now how does this compare? It's probably a good question to ask. We compared Surface Pro to the MacBook Air. I think that was fair. We're going to compare Surface Book and how it compares to a MacBook Pro. By adding the discrete GPU, Two extra processors, it fundamentally makes Surface Book two times faster than the MacBook Pro, two times faster. It just gives you a sense of the performance of the product. But to give you a better sense, let me walk over here. Do you remember that Surface Dock we talked about earlier? Right here? It works with your Surface Book. So it works for Pro 3, Pro 4, and the Surface Book, and we enable that with one cord plugging in, nothing else, and that's the Surface Connector. See if I'm up there, I am, great. So I'm just gonna plug in this USB port. Now you're gonna see the PCIe SSD performance in the product, which is basically two times faster than SATA, so if you're paying attention and you understand the kind of details in it, this is just a super fast drive. I'm gonna grab, what we have here is uh, three gigabytes of gameplay, and I'm just gonna pull it onto my screen and copy it to my desktop. You guys see how fast it copies. I just want you to see that transfer. So this is three gigs transferring full speed and just coming through and boom, just like that, it's on my desktop. Now I'm gonna show you some gameplay here and I wanna tell you what, it, what you're seeing. It's not just a video. This is actually footage recorded off a Surface Book that was playing Gears of War. I wanna show you that so you can see the smoothness of the screen when the play, when the gamer is playing on it. Now we didn't design these products specifically for gamers, that wasn't the goal, but man, games work amazing on it because of its performance. Take a quick look, you just get a look at it really quick. Oops, I opened the wrong thing, sorry. It's called bad me. You kind of see the performance, no glitches. Now I'm gonna take all these just so you can see what I can do with it because now we're getting into creator land and I'm gonna drop them right here into Premiere Pro. This is Adobe Premiere Pro. For those of you who know it, it's very GPU intensive application. And since we're pushing the GPU in this product, uh, the discrete GPU, I just wanted to show you what it can do from a performance standpoint. I'm gonna take those videos, you see how quickly they copied and I'm just gonna drag them here. And now what I'm doing is I'm actually editing a movie. 
Uh, this is where you, you think about what creators do with a product like this. You think what they want to get done. You want to make a movie. You want to push this machine to do so. Watch how I move these games kind of overlapping. This is what, this is content down here if you've never used it. I'm going to play it real time so you can see the game. Now watch here as I apply transitions. And the reason I did that is I want you to kind of understand those transitions are also GPU intensive. So watch what I'm doing in making my own little movie here where I'm going from Gears of War to the other first party game called Gigantic, both played on the Surface Book. Did you see that transition, how smooth it is? For those of you who understand Premiere Pro, we didn't skip one frame and we were in full GPU rendering. So you then ask, how do you do it? What are the tricks? How do you get such amazing performance and keep all that battery life? How do we make it so we can get rid of those cords as long as we possibly can? How do we do it with no extra weight? The product in its class is unbelievably light. Now, it's craftsmanship. It's every detail. It's surface. It's what you expect. Every single part starts as a billet and is machined to fit perfectly down to the tens of microns. So every Surface Book that we will build, it will be unique. It will have its own footprint, but it will be seamless. The lines will come off exactly how we intended them. There will be no gaps. It will feel fit. It's what you expect from so much performance. I took you through this. I took you through an elegant laptop with an unbelievable typing experience, a beautiful screen. It outperforms any competitor in its class. It's the first laptop from Microsoft. This is Surface Book. This is the ultimate laptop. This product starts at $14.99 and is also available for pre-order. And it's available October 26th. What do you guys think? It's the ultimate laptop, but uh, I want to tell you about our culture in Surface for just a minute. We got this whole thing, you know, and this is now devices. We're relentless. Satya pushes us to be growth hackers. Like we can't just stop. Like I, I lose sleep. Just a laptop? What? Surface Pro 4. It was about bringing the thunder. This product is going back to reinventing categories. Take a look at this video one more time, just one more time, but this time, let's watch a little bit closer.
Okay, sorry. <laughs> this is now the thinnest, most powerful PC ever created. It weighs only 1.6 pounds. It's that 13 and a half inch screen we talked about. It is 7.7 .7 millimeters thin. Don't worry, your USB ports, they're in the base. It's that same three by two aspect ratio you're familiar with. It is modeled and metaphored after an A4 piece of paper to give you that natural feel. It's a clipboard. Look at it. You know when you use that laptop and you want to show somebody what's on it and you want, that's what you use as a laptop? And you want to turn it around, is that what you do? You kind of turn it around? Now you just seamlessly remove it and you just hand it over and it feels so good when you touch it. When you're reading on the couch and you're looking at Flipboard, it's built for side-by-side -side magazine flipping. It's unreal, the reading experience. When you're reading the web and reading articles that people are writing, guessing what you're working on next, it's phenomenal for that too. This product brings to life a whole new, ex you know what? I, I wasn't gonna, we have to do this. I want a few of you to touch it. So I'm gonna pull it out. Who wants to, you guys wanna feel it really quick? You do? Okay. Check this out. You gotta feel how light it is. I know, I'm over time, whatever. Like, here's the deal. This is, uh, Thank you. hey man, enjoy it. Thank you. Check it out. Hey look, you know what you're, that cool? Do you know what you're holding? Right, the most powerful tennis PC ever made. That's what you're holding right there. Isn't that cool? It's very cool. You can see him carry, I know. Pass it around, guys. Just pass it back so people can feel it. I want to show you what else you can do with the product because it's important to understand the performance on it and the power of what's happening. The GPU is in the base. Can you guys sit down and just pass it around? Yeah, sorry. The GPU, they, they warned me that giving them out would cause ruckus. So uh, <clears throat> the GPU is in the base of this product. So now I've plugged the product in here and I've reversed it. We call it draw mode. I'll show you how simple that is in just a minute. But now I have the full power of the GPU plugged into the top of the powerful PC that it is. And now we're back to that full ultimate laptop performance we talked about. And if you're, yeah, that's cool. If you're a creator, you know this. This is a 3D image on here and uh, I'm using Autodesk. And if I were to just work on this T-Rex, you see how I can, how quickly I can render? Right here I'm putting basically spikes on his back. Can you guys see that? How cool and how seamless that is? And let's just look, you know, dude, let's have some fun. And if you were to just put some scars on him and you're starting to make a real animated character just like this, I'm doing it with my pen, I'm doing it with touch. When we talked about this coming together, is that pretty cool? That's a full GPU rendering right now in my hand with a pen. But the real thing to understand is how we did it. How do you have a laptop? What did the Surface team do? How did the engineering team pull it off? I'm going to show you the hinge. This here is what's known as a dynamic fulcrum. It's what we call it internally. It's total dork talk, but hold on. We did it purposefully. We wanted to be able to give you all that power in the top of the device, all that battery, all the energy you need to make it a full clipboard experience. If you're the architect, you get to walk around with it. If you're on a job site, you walk around with it. If you're my friend who's an NFL quarterback or a friend who's a coach or a friend who's this, and you're using it and writing, you get to use it as a clipboard. But when you plug it in, you need to be able to extend this base to be able to give the perfect balance for lapability in the product. Watch how the basic set extends itself. Check it out. See how long that got? Is that pretty cool? That's an, that is the hinge designed by my team out in Redmond. They are just phenomenal at the work they're able to do. Now, how do we separate it? How do we get away from the clickety clackety clack and levers and this and that and what, 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 how do I get it off? It's so simple. We use a technology called muscle wire invented um, by Microsoft. And within the muscle wire, basically you throw, you throw a charge into it, it expands and contracts elegantly. And what it does is it locks in the screen or it doesn't. And so basically when you want to remove the top, it's a full, by the way, it's a full laptop. You see, this is the whole point of it. I'm supposed to use it as a laptop and never think twice. It is the ultimate laptop, but at any given time, if I want to, I just pull it off. That's it. And now, that quickly, that elegantly, I can move with this device and I can just plug it back in so simply and it locks in and it's just a laptop. That's all it is. And it comes together just like that. I've shown you something here that is the most powerful laptop on the planet. It has touch. It has pen. 
It has more pixels than any screen in its class. And it does this. Just like that. Now this, this is the ultimate laptop. I just want you to feel the rhythm of the product. Thanks for having me, guys. Check this out. There is a rhythm. You have to listen to hear it. It beats inside each and every one of us. It beats like a drum. It says, get out there. Create. Do something special. It is the rhythm of inspiration. And it whispers. Be bold. Be an artist. Be tight with business. It says, make music. Inspire. Hero, nurture that rhythm. Take it with you and make it sing. We all have greatness in us, and with the right tools, there are no limits to where your rhythm will take you. Introducing the ultimate laptop Surface Book by Microsoft.